Uh, Luis, one of the things that stood out to me the first time you and I spoke was that really seems like you and your colleagues go out of, the, out of your way to listen to the pain points of your customers as they use the product. And I'm sure there's a lot of founders out there and they may say, I don't really want, no disrespect, I don't really want to listen to my customers. I know what my customers want. Maybe they'll, they'll eventually figure it out. It does not seem like that's your approach. What advice would you have for a founder, an entrepreneur in terms of being able to really be open to maybe some degree of constructive criticism to evolve and improve the product as you move forward? And, and to prove this point, why don't you tell the crowd your NPS score? <laughs> yeah, we have one of the biggest NPS scores uh, for the industry in Brazil. Our NPS at the payment industry is 76. And our customers basically they love the product. The average NPS for payment industry in Brazil is 26. So we go to the streets, we talk with customers, we try to understand what is the biggest pain they have. Uh, but there is this advice that you cannot make the customer feedback a to-do list. You need to get that feedback, process that feedback, grab some experiments and ideas, and see how that's going to affect the day-to-day -day of our customers. Our customers are SMB all over Brazil. They don't have time. They want to receive their money as fast as possible. And when you start to realize that one of the biggest pains is to receive money as fast as possible, we decide to fix that problem and show that to the customers. And basically, they love that. And, and to drive that point home a little bit more with just experience again from the board meetings, I talk about these new products that Luis is talking about building. Many times these products are not revenue generating products or maybe they're very thin margin products, but they are the very best thing for that customer in that moment. And he knows that making sure they have everything they need to be successful in owning their business ultimately is going to do the best thing for them and for Cloudwalk. Can we talk about the big announcement today? Let's talk about what you alluded to it earlier. What is the big announcement? I'll start with you and then I'll get Michael's perspective about what it means from his end. So we just announced that we crossed at 138 million uh, USD uh, in analyzed revenue. So you are one of the few unicorns in the whole Latin that crossed at this number. They call this kind of company centaurs uh, instead of unicorns. We were unicorn before, now you are centaur because you crossed this number. And also we are profitable. So first quarter we generate 11 million dollars in profit and we are growing around 183% year over year. So we are one of the biggest and fastest growing payment companies in the whole Atta, I would say in the whole planet, and they are looking for the best minds uh, to hire and start to dream together with us. At Couture, we're one of the most data-driven investors in the world. We have data sets on our private portfolio that is over 280 companies in addition to a very, very large uh, public book. Luis just glossed over those numbers, but these are some of the most impressive numbers we have ever seen in the history of our business. And to do it profitably and to do it with the humility that Luis and the team do it with is, is truly something special, and, and we're very lucky to be a part of it. Humility is an interesting word you use. That stands out to me. That's an important thing to look for, huh? Look, humility is ad admitting mistakes. And you can, you can fix mistakes when you admit them. If you can't admit them, you're going to keep making them. And this is one of the most uh, humble guys that I know. And fortunately, he also hasn't made very many mistakes. So it's best of both worlds. Congratulations on the announcement today and all the success to your company and both of your roles. One more time for Michael and Luis. And thank you all so much for taking the time. Thank you.